it's ocean stems and welcome back to my channel you are here because this has been one of the biggest debates in custom content history and i'm here to tell y'all the truth i'm just going to be completely completely honest with you when it comes to the case of max's match custom content versus alpha custom content they're both great I can say it with confidence. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I actually got lost finding Alpha CC for this video because I am a Maxis Match user, but honestly, there's so many cute things out there. So with that being said, I want to give a huge, huge thank you to The Sims Resource for sponsoring this video. The Sims Resource is the world's largest and oldest fan site since 1999. From The Sims 1 all the way down to The Sims 4, you can literally find so many beautiful pieces of clothing, hairs, shoes, houses. And the one thing I super appreciate about The Sims Resource is that they actually pay their featured artists. But not only do they have custom content, they actually have some really fun challenges going on on their website, blog posts. So if you wanna stay up to date about The Sims news and what's going on, you can definitely find everything you need at The Sims Resource. The Sims Resource also has this really cool VIP membership that comes with loads of benefits. Say you wanna download hairs today. You can literally fill up your cart with all of the hairs that you love and at the very end, download all of them in a zip file. With The Sims VIP membership, you can avoid ads so there's no wait time. There are so many talented artists on The Sims Resource that some of them actually release custom content on early access. And with a VIP membership, you have access to all of the early access. The Sims Resource is an ever-growing website, and I'm super excited that I got to share that with you today. Nonetheless, if you do feel like you can benefit from a VIP membership, no pressure, but I do have coupon codes in the description right now for you so you can save on your VIP membership. Huge shout out to The Sims Resource though, because I had to literally add so much stuff in my basket. You guys have no idea. I say we all have tab syndrome where we have a bunch of custom content on top of our tab on what we want to download. Like I did not have time for that. I am working with very little time with the lifestyle I have. So I literally just put a, a, a ton of custom content in my basket and just psh, downloaded it all. It was very convenient, okay? Especially for this video. <laughs> Let's jump into the video though. I created one sim and I have a Maxis Match version of her and an alpha version of her. And at the end, we're gonna circle back. You're gonna see my face again. <laughs> and I'm gonna talk about how I feel about each style of custom content. And then I want your opinion at the end. Let's go. So we are now in Create a Sim and this is Peace Gamboa. She is my jungle adventure babe. And honestly, if jungle adventure had came out when I made the sim, I would literally explore the jungle in and out with her. I love her, she's so gorgeous. Um, but anything that you see in today's video will be listed, like as far as like custom content and all that, all of that, I have all the links neatly linked in an organized um, Tumblr post in the description down below. So definitely check that out. But on to the sim here. Now, you know, creating a sim using Max's match content comes very second nature to me now. Like, honestly, it's it's really, I wouldn't say easy because it's a really daunting task, especially if you've been out of create a sim a while. Sometimes I feel rusty. Like, if I haven't made sims in a while, I feel extremely rusty. And this is how I felt that day, too. Like, when I was making her, I felt so under pressure. I'm like, how can I really showcase CC because my style is so basic and I know I can create sims really well but for some reason I felt so under pressure when I was making her for some reason because I just was so scared of how she would look with alpha like if it would completely change her appearance and let's just say the results were I'm not mad at the results okay when the sims 4 first came out in 2014 like there was no CC, <laughs> you know, it kind of takes time for the creators to make that type of stuff. So once CC was starting to kind of like come to the scene, I was like downloading it like a straight up hoarder on the Sims resource and anywhere I could find it. And yeah, I just, I, my style started off as alpha and a lot of people I think don't know that. I think everyone thinks that I started off using Max's match custom content, but if you go to my origin, <laughs> if you go to my, not origin, but my gallery ID and you look at my profile picture, I still have a sim with an, with like alpha CC on because I haven't changed it since. Like that's how long ago <laughs> that was, but she's so gorgeous. Like I don't even want to change it now that I've, now that I remember that I'm like, I don't even want to change it. I'm not even going to bother changing it. But yeah, if you see me on the gallery, my sim has alpha custom content so it's not that i don't like alpha custom content but max's match for me just looks better in game totally my opinion but they're both great i think because of the style of the actual game itself it just has this really cartoony clay look that when your sims look 
super realistic like because alpha cc can totally look realistic and oh my gosh it's so gorgeous like the sim playing with alpha cc is so much fun but when you go in game it sucks when like mortimer and Valagoth still look all clayified and stuff but they but they don't look like your beautiful realistic sim it's kind of like an awkward shift in the art style so if the sims made a future you know an additional part of the franchise like sims 5 6 7 8 or whatever and they went for a more realistic style i wouldn't be mad at it it would definitely be an adjustment because i do love that like cartoony style it kind of takes me out of the universe we're in uh i like playing again with like alpha custom content but the reason why i like maxis match is because obviously it looks a part of the game but i love feeling like I'm not a part of this world and they're in their own little like world, you know? Like I even had this style for a very short, short, short period of time when I was on Tumblr and it was more like a Pixar type of Disney look. And you could really achieve that with Maxis Match custom content and skins and eyes and stuff. And that's what I really, really like about it, that The Sims itself feel like this quirky little cartoon TV show that's, you know, you're the director of it. So I really like that aspect of um, Maxis Match custom content. And to be honest with you, I don't have a lot of CC, but I do have a lot of CC in, okay, let me explain this. Okay, this is kind of like a long story, but not really. I separate my save files by the Let's Plays. I think I've mentioned this before, but I, um, and this is like a method that Urban Sims, aka Jen, hey, she taught me how to do this and it like saved my life because like the more LPs you do, you really want to keep the screenshots and stuff organized. Um, I can definitely link her video about that in the description as well if you guys want to know how to do that. If I forget, please let me know in the comments. But yeah, it's it's how I do it, right? So basically I can have a completely 100% vanilla save and I can also have a 100% like modded save and it really helps, you know, just kind of organizing everything so I have the best of both worlds because I love 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 vanilla gameplay no custom content at all maybe a couple mods and then I also love my CC and stuff so in my legacy save I have a ton of uh build CC and custom content and mods and stuff um, a ton for me like six gigs to four or five like four to six gigs is a lot for me <laughs> when I used to do my Ramona let's play I had so much custom content I think I was pushing on eight gigs and that, that was a lot for me and, and I thought I was a CC addict then but I know some people that have like 13 gigabytes of custom content and you my friend <laughs> hats off to you but um I'm someone that's like a super minimalistic person. So while I love custom content, I have to constantly clean it out. Uh, like right now I have to clean it out because I downloaded a ton of custom content on top of what I already had. But honestly, I don't know. It's it's a lot to me, but it's really not a lot, you know? But for some reason, it just feels like a lot to me. And that's how OCD I am about my mods folder. Like it just, I just hate the clutter, you know? I love what I have so far. And if you guys even want me to make a video on like how to delete your CC, clean out your mods folder, I can definitely do that too because I feel like if you are an avid CC user and you're downloading custom content every day, reblogging it every day, I reblog custom content every day. Like just because you don't see it doesn't mean I'm not using it or that I'm not downloading it. Because if you go to my oceanccfinds.tumblr, which is also linked in the description, by the way, <laughs> you will see that I am reblogging something almost every day, whether it's a, a hairstyle, whether it's a pair of shorts, <laughs> whether it's a skin detail or something, I'm reblogging it there just so I have it for reference or I come back and download it later. Um, the Sims resource is super great for Sims 3 custom content. And I've been like downloading some of that in the background because I do have a current household in the Sims 3 that I've actually showcased, I think once up here that I kind of Play with off cam it's a lot of off cam goods that i do but enough of the chit chat you guys i literally just chit chat for like six minutes straight about my sim and look at her she's gorgeous the alpha cc literally made her pop the skin it was really hard to find a good skin but shout out to brilliant sims they have so many choices um as far as skin is concerned that i really was able to like nail her skin details like within the skin like i didn't have to put a lot of skin details because the skin just kind of did all of that for me and i also use a little cleavage overlay because i love the realism with that i use that on my maxis match sims as well just because it looks good on both but the clothes and everything look very realistic the hair looks realistic 
like it gave me life is strange vibes and i absolutely love that it's so hard not to want to play with a sim that like looks like this it, she looks so real but when you play her in game it just messes up the aesthetic and i tell you guys all the time i'm like an aesthetic simmer well i love gameplay but i'm like it's all about the aesthetic for me so if it's not right i'm just like nope i can't do it <laughs> can't do it cancel me out but i love it i even tried to go back and change up the maxis match um sims outfit because i felt like it just was not cool in comparison with the alpha version but i ended up i think reverting back to the outfit i gave her but yeah like i just went for like a very chill again she loves the outdoors she's a loner she wants to explore the jungle she's very chill and that's just kind of how i want to do this sim. custom content is such an addiction i swear it's like you're really going shopping for someone's closet and appearance and it just it's so it's so therapeutic that's what spring sim says it's therapeutic i totally agree it's therapy so what do you guys think? I want to know your your true opinions on my sim. I love my custom content collection with all of my soul. I do need to like clean it out, but I love the clothing. I was really going for a simple look and I feel like I nailed that. I really don't know which one I would go with for, for good. Like I feel like alpha is so much fun to play with. <laughs> it just is there's so many good things. I don't know. I want you guys to tell me how you feel about this. I love this girl. I named her Peace. She's so cute. I feel like she would be like a traveler in the jungle or something. <laughs> I really want to know what you guys think of the sim. I want to know if you would use alpha yourself. Like if you would use Max's match, if you're an alpha user, vice versa. I love both and i am someone that has a problem with hoarding cc anyway so now i need to clean my cc folder out because i downloaded a lot of custom content for this video and yeah i don't know i want to know what you guys think i personally feel like i will always love max's match so my true opinion I feel like Max's match is beautiful in game i feel like they both are but i feel like of course it just matches the style of the game easier than alpha just because the townies still look like clay next to your real looking sims like she looks so real in her like alpha -tized version of herself but if i put her next to the sims in the game right now she's just gonna stand out like a sore thumb and i hate that but i love her look and i wouldn't mind a game that looked like this either I love it. I think it's very nice, realistic. So I think I'll always be a Maxis match lover as long as The Sims 4 exists. But for future versions of The Sims, I think, I don't know. A little alpha never hurt anybody, you know? I, I'm still open for it as far as just playing around with it. I will be keeping a couple pieces of alpha that I have just to play around with because I really like, I don't know. I just love how she's just so cute. Ah, I feel like I have to sneeze. Okay, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Just keep sending. Always, always, always stay wavy. And I will see you in the next video. Alrighty, peace out.